too. Okay, like right there is a good edge. It's a sharp edge. I can get sparks on almost every time. Now, listen up, guys. If you don't get this, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Okay? Everybody stop what they're doing. Listen to what I'm doing. Did you see where I just tore that? Okay? What you do is you take your piece of, of char cloth and you tear it down the middle. You put your two edges together. That puts your friable stuff out there on the very edge. Okay? And you put your thumb on the edge of it. Okay? Like this. Here's my here's my part that I'm going to be striking. The friable stuff in there. And they taught me to, to go ahead and fry that up a little bit without trying to strike it. It just frays it. Keenan, you're not going to get this. Okay? Because you're not watching. You, you fry that up. And then... You strike it, okay? So, three strikes. Your the advantage of doing it this way is, is simply that you're what you're doing is you're taking a piece of steel off that rock. It's rolling up and it's going to roll up on top of your char cloth. All of, I have seen people on YouTube do it this way. I've seen people do it on YouTube do it this way. This way works the best for me, okay? It's rolling up. If you watch it, them sparks roll up on top. And they roll right back onto the char cloth. It all depends on what works best for you. Right. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a piece of char cloth and we're going to go out and we're going to take and see if you can get a fire going. Oh, Mark, did I tell you that my time at the territory was fastest overall? Cool. All right. Everybody got their shoes on? Everybody got a jacket on if you need a jacket? All, all you need is to remember where you're sitting, take a piece of flint, a piece of steel, leave your kit where it's at, and your bird's nest in a piece of char cloth. Okay? So I'll bring the char cloth out there, and you guys bring your piece of flint steel and your bird's nest. Okay?